Hey everybody! Um, I was um, playing with my project of coming up with things for decor and I wanted to have some fabric flowers and um, but I wanted ones that could be put in a vase. So I started playing some last night and um, took one of um, you know, our favorite flowers, the ones with the uh, folded petals and um, Trisha a little shabby chic had done a tutorial on how to do these and I'm just gonna fold a couple so that you see how to do it if you're not familiar with them um, but yeah they're you know when you finish them um, you, know, you do them on a piece of felt and you lay them flat on a project um, but again I wanted something that would go on a stem so I started playing last night and I made it work so I just wanted to show you this um, new take on the fabric flowers and this was the first one that I did well let me and I don't know what the deal is <laughs> okay there we go and that's on a stem and then I did one in a printed cotton I'm loving how these look. I did one with a fairly heavy lace. And this one, uh, the same principle, but I used um, folded circles instead of squares. So I'm going to uh, walk through doing one with you. I'm going to need a piece of floral stem wire. I get this at Michael's. Um, you'll need a bunch of squares. I've already done up a bunch so that you don't have to sit here and watch me make a bunch of these petals. Um, and I'll just do a couple more so that you see you know, a refresher on how to do them if you haven't seen it before or if you um, haven't done them in a while. And I and keeping one full square not folded for um, finishing off at the end. You'll need your glue gun. Um, I just got my wire cutters because I don't want a stem this long. So I'll get at least two stems out of each piece of wire. And I'm just using um, this pair of pliers they're not needle nose, I don't know what they're called, they're for jewelry making. And I just take the end of the stem and curl it over. Nothing ever works the way you want it to when you're doing a video. So I, I just make a loop. I don't know what my issue is today that I'm having a hard time with this camera. Probably because I've got it zoomed in so that you can see what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, there's a loop one there, and you'll see why we have that in a minute. And I've got my glue gun heated. Um, so to make, I'm gonna, I've got a square set aside. So to make the petals, you're going to fold it up. You're not going to fold it in half, edge to edge. You're going to fold it up so that there is some overlap kind of kind of in the center of the edge and raised up some and then you're going to fold it over again so now your petal looks like that and just a little bit of glue down at the corner and pinch it closed So we'll do it two more times. Fold it up so that it's above the center of the edge. Fold it in half. And a little bit of glue in the corner. Right down at the bottom. And be careful when you pinch it because the glue will be hot. Or you use your uh, 
your glue helpers, your hot glue helpers, if uh, if that's easier for you. Fold it up. Fold it in half. And a little bit of glue right in that center point. Okay. And let's see how many petals I have here. I don't know if it's going to take all these petals or not. Four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. I've got seventeen petals here and one square that I'll use at the end. And actually, I should have kept one of these square. You need a square at the beginning also. Okay. So, I've got my stem and a square. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue down. Yeah, maybe about a half an inch up and over from the bottom and the side. And I'm going to put my stem down on it. Let it sit there for a minute. And then I'm going to fold that right over top. And the glue is still warm enough that I don't need any more at, the, at this point. So then... I'm just going to fold it over. Doesn't matter. Really doesn't matter what direction. Put a little bit of glue down. Press it down. And now I'm just going to turn this, and this will make the center of the flower. So I've got it wrapped all the way around. I'm just going to put down some glue and press it closed. So this will actually be the center of the flower. And I don't necessarily want those threads there. I'll just snip them. So there's your center. And now you're just going to take your paddles And you put some glue, maybe about a quarter inch up and across the bottom. And I'm just going to press that into it and form it to go around the center of the flower. And there's a really bad glare here with light. Let's see if this helps any. So, the, so this is what you have now. I'm going to take another petal. And same thing. Maybe a quarter inch up. Some glue across. And I'm going to overlap it at the bottom a little bit and press it on. And I'm going to keep going around. Do a bit of glue. I'm overlapping some. Okay, and this is what it looks like from this side. That's what it looks like from that side. And I actually find it easier to work with the center facing me. Okay, so I've got four petals on, and I'm going to squish that in so that it's coming around 
and hitting so that it's wrapping around this, um, this center part of the blossom. And I'm overlapping each one to the previous petal sum. And see how this is a little bit away from that center bud. I'm going to put a little bit of glue in there and tighten that up to the center. I'm just going to press and hold that a little bit. Okay, and then I'm, one more should finish up this round. Okay, so that's what we have right now. And what I'm going to do now is go around and just try to balance balance it out. I've got my glue gun on foil and the sunlight is bouncing off the foil. <laughs> probably end up going all the way around a second time. And then I'll probably look for the filler spots. See, and some of these petals are small and some are large. That one's probably too big. You know, there's no rhyme or reason when I'm cutting my squares. I just do it. Same thing with the circles. Overlap, there we go. Just pressing it on. But I am so loving these. I put maybe three of these in a um, in a milk glass vase. It's a little small, but we'll see what it does. And yes, I'm getting glue strings everywhere. Yeah, and if you have different size ones and you have to slide it up on there some, that's absolutely fine because we'll take care of that with the final square. Now I'm looking at it, looking for spots for where to put petals to balance it. And I think I need one more. Yeah, 
and I think that will do it. Yeah, maybe one more there. Yep. Okay. So there it is. And what I do with the square to finish it off, I fold it in half, edge to edge, and in half again, edge to edge, and at the center corner, I cut the smallest little piece that I can off. And then I open it up. And I slide my stem into it. And I pull it up. And I got it over that little, that bulk of fabric. And then I just... From the inside, just put in a little bit of glue, just a little string of it, and lightly press it up. And I'll do that on all four corners. And just lightly press it up. I'm on the inside of the petal pulling up a small string of glue and lightly press it up and I've got one corner left there and that finishes off the underside of it so that you, you can't see you know, if, you're, if the bottoms of your petals weren't even or anything, which, you know, a lot of times they might not be, but that, just, that finishes, it, finishes it off really, really nicely. Now, <clears throat> I didn't bring down with me my floral tape. I can't find my green. Um, so in the other flowers, I used white, but I just grabbed the floral tape. Oh, come on. This is going to drive me nuts. <laughs> Grab the uh, floral tape and twist it around as close to the base of the actual flower as possible and I just cover up that excess fabric with the floral tape and yeah, yeah, you can take it down as far as you want to but here's one that has the floral tape on it and I need to find my green but since I was just playing trying to figure this out then that works so there you go, and it's the exact same process if you're using circles. Um, I didn't save a circle to finish this off at the bottom, but you know what? Since I have that fabric down here, I'm just going to go ahead and make a quick circle. These are my kitchen scissors, so it's probably not going to be that nice a circle. It's a really stingy circle. <laughs> I'll just do it this way. Not the nicest circle in the world. It is what it is. Folding it in half and in half again and cutting that tiny point. It's probably a little big, but And you're just sliding it down the stem. And just put a little glue in. Tap it up against the bottom of the flower. Okay. 
And there. That finished off the underside of that one. So there it is, a new way to do your fabric flowers so that you can actually enjoy them in vases. And I hope this wasn't as frustrating for you as it was for me trying to uh, see what's going on in the camera. <laughs> Hopefully it recorded okay. And um, yeah, that's, that's all for now. I am definitely going to be making loads of these. I love them. And you can make some really gorgeous bouquets with that. Oh, and some of these, and you know, especially the lace ones, make a bouquet and stick some brooches in it. Oh, I might have to do that. <laughs> Lots of possibilities here. So, hope you'll give it a try. I would love to see what you come up with when you do them. Any folded flower um, type thing that you would normally do, just flat on felt, you should be able to use this for. I need, I'm going to get out my um, tattered florals die and um, cut a bunch of those and try it out and see how those come out because I, I bet it's going to be pretty neat. <laughs> so, okay, well, thank you all so much for, for watching and for your comments. I really appreciate it. And I will hopefully see you soon. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.